Alright kids, let's try this again. I'm Russell, these are my Let's Plays, and welcome to Batman the Telltale series. Now, the developer that made this is among my favorites in the world. Their Walking Dead series is one you should check out. Writing was brilliant. It legitimately made me cry. Very well done. I don't know if the writing will be as good for a Batman thing, and to be blunt, it probably won't, but he's still one of my favorite superheroes, so I wanted to check this one out. Let's do this. Adjust the slider. I think that'll do it. Do we want blue, red, or purple? I think I'm gonna go with blue. Oh my god, load. Ba -da 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 -da. da 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 I think something's about to go down at the city hall. Hey, what are you? God damn. I was right. Get it open. On it. What could they Dang, be up to? I think he's gonna show up and bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. One thing I want to do before we continue, so people can read the dialogue if they need to. Subtitles should always be on. It's just a considerate thing to do. Especially if I'm gonna babble. And I am going to babble. Oh, Christ. Move in! One of the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Ha 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 ha, fuck you. You're about to get your ass kicked. Huh? Keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now. But it's made you a target. 
and people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. They need criminals in this city. <laughs> they need something to fear. Shit! The hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. You're fucked, you're fucked, you're What's really, that? really fucked. Huh? Now, how the fuck did he have time to do that? Seriously. I mean, it's cool. <gasps> but, like, what the hell? <gasps> Back to back, circle up! That's not gonna help you. He realizes he doesn't see shit now. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Sounded a bit mushmouth there. Sorry about that. Come back! Come on! Come on! <laughs> God damn. How is he not unconscious? Drop that one up. Mother teach you to knock. Well, who behind is you, big this? boy. <laughs> Heyday. Pretty cool. I want one like Stay that. where you are. You're under arrest. No, no. Well, if you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Thank you, Al. Criminals are becoming afraid of you. So are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. 
I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta oh, admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Jesus Christ. Bring it, Bat. Cheesy as all hell. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> Just fuck already. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Case in point. God damn it! I said don't shoot! No! Wait! <clears throat> I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Who put you up to this? Answer me or I let go. But you won't. You're not that kind of guy. Good call. Bye, Bat. 
Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. This is gonna be awkward. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. For too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Oh, hi, Together, Harvey. We can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Harvey Dent, in case you're one of the people who hasn't, one of the three people on Earth Mr. Wayne, seen the Dark Knight. My Knight campaign's at this largest point, backer could have heard that applause. A he would just, Well, there he is, fashionable and fashionably late as always. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, hi Bruce. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you, thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner like we make nice it. with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. I'm gonna go with put right, dent in right. crowd. How about, uh... Put a dent in crime. Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. That's fucking hilarious. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. Pain, Bruce. I too would be attached to a wall all evening. Pause. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. Well, fuck I'll you admit too. it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. 
You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbox are reminders of the Golden Age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, shit, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think depends so. Depends on the man. I'd say it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> and don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne, in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it Thank was terrible. Thank you for bringing that up. Truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. Yeah, if only that deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, bit, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want. I'm not Donald press Trump, conference so tomorrow. yeah, you can hang out. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. Just a day? Well, <laughs> I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. Mr. Wayne, you've, you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah. I, uh, cut myself it shaving. Looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Mm. Hey, kidding. Kidding. Uh, do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Well, that is Excuse the worst us, thing you could possibly have said. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into Practically City Hall. legitimate one. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Fuck him. I don't want him in my home. Actually, you don't want him angry. Trust me. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. Nope. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Uh, bitch, you couldn't afford it. Though the decor offends my eyes. 
<laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. And You're a denied. respectable man. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. Mm, I saw plenty of skirts off, to keep you stays. busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you... Ah, what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But, in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say any well. More than you I know. I understand more than you know. Good. You look smart. You dress smart. Glad it adds up to something real. Uh, Mr. Falcone, I... No more warnings. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. It gives me an adjustment. For I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Let's not. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. Mm, go fuck yourself. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. You and I are Definitely. friends. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. Not for long. I just did. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him.
It's me. Tickets. And we have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. But the Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. This Hills campaign. Wait, there's a codex that gives you some information about like Batman orders. villains and stuff. And you can like watch the news if you want to, but I'm not gonna waste any y'all's time with that. So on to the hard drive. Let's do some digital forensics. Nearly fell off a building for this. Oh no, that's a bit much. Let's find out what was so important. Just park a chair in front of it, good lord. <sighs> Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Yeah, this is then a we cool should build part. an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. Working on it. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. a map of the east side shoreline but it could mean any number of things money weapons drugs everything flows through that port maybe it's where mayor hill picks up his dry cleaning doubtful hmm. can't make sense of it yet there's still plenty of files to decrypt and in the meantime i saved you what i could Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. Well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. <laughs> for the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Where's my cursor? Oh, here we go. Found her. Crimes, burglary, petty larceny, new criminal on the scene, tied to several recent break-in. She's effective and doesn't leave any clues behind. Currently the GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. Oh, I bet you do. 
not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. <laughs> well, the car helps. Oh, yes, you drive that thing like a bat out of hell. Ha ha ha. Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... haven't the faintest idea. Argument, he yes. just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. What the hell kind of name is Cobblepot? Wait a minute, is this guy the penguin? I think he's the penguin. Where are you, Oz? Give this dude some change. Uh, thank you, sir. Because we're cool like that. <sighs> Great. Drag me out to this shithole the part of town and then run late. No odds. Lovely. Watch wallet cash. That's about like forty different kinds of not happening. Hey, you heard him, man. Go ahead. Try and take it. The hell do you say? End him! Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. in the moment! Come here! Oh. Think that'll do? Yeah! Oh. Ah. Stop! 
Stay down! This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Ow. Well, he would be dead. This is my park! Mine! You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Red on you. Yeah, good as new. Woo, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shaped. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, that wasn't why I brought you in, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> you included, it seems. Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round-the-world vacations, unlimited potential. I'll just be apologetic. I'm... I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Balcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home! That oily... <sighs> he wasn't invited. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... From what I know, I don't disagree. It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Well, that's ominous. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers.
kind of liking this Occupy Wall Street by way of Guy Ritchie version of the Penguin. Over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Hi. Morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring you all out God. here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> We're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation proved its conference. security lacking. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible, but inside, they're suffering. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Let us honor their memory with this new facility, in the hope that a night like that never happens again. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm, a. Uh... Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? Tear it we should down. tear down the walls and erase it from the map. I don't want us lingering on past mistakes. I want us to focus on Gotham's future. All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. Welcome. You and Mr. Stronger. Dent even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to oh the mob. Oh my. Care to comment? <laughs> and did anyone else receive this? Evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. 
Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill, in the rain, with skates on. It's Lieutenant Gordon, Alfred, apparently. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. It must be pretty early on in the timeline. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition... disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. I knew nothing about this shit before today, so... to do this. It's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here... Instantly makes you look bad. I get it. So let me say it for you. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. 
Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, we'll give not wild look. speculation. On the record, then. Seems the right thing to do. Whenever you're ready. Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents... It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. That's what we're about to do, I think. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? To fuck with you, It just doesn't basically. make sense. It's gotta be politically motivated. Hill can't match your fundraising, so he's trying to take out your biggest donor. I don't know. This is a new low. Even for Hill. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. It may not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no. Just glad you made it. Oh my, I think we know her, children. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I think we've met before. You do look familiar. Everyone knows who Bruce Wayne is. Do they? Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. 
Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually.